everything changes when Jesus, when Jesus steps in the room man. with his manifest presence. We know he's omnipotent, but there's something. Tell us about some of the times you've been really undone by the presence of God when when he just steps in the room like that. What what does that feel like for you guys? Well, our, we in our work, um, uh, we were raising the dead. We were opening up probably 10 villages a month, new churches, we were healing every known disease. We were getting probably three to 500 new converts a month. We're doing the gospel. And then we had this pastor's conference. Um, and I went out, it was on the third day of the conference. There was like 600 of my national pastors together and then probably 40 of us. I'm on my way back out to the meeting at 7 in the morning. And they had been praying all night. They hadn't slept in three days. And they've been praying all night long, all night long, praying, praying wow. all these people. And uh, when I got there, there were people stuck to the ground, the actual dirt, and couldn't get up all over the place. And, I'm, and it's unusual for us. It was the first time that the manifested, I mean, the Shekinah glory came. Mm. Our first time. And I'm sitting there with my, my local leadership, and I'm, and I, what is going on? They don't know. Mm-hmm. Everybody is blasted by the spirit. Yeah. And right, just for no reason, we don't know about a Shekinah cloud. Come on. Like ten people saw it. Mm. But ten folks saw this cloud come from above. It was turning out of itself. It hit us, and it blew everybody. And it went three vill- You know, you know this reference. It went three villages deep, all in three hundred sixty. Unbelievers, everybody are out on the ground shaking and blah, blah, blah. They uh, can't, even the witch doctors everybody, go down, right? Everybody. Oh. And then that, that went for, I don't know, it went, that was about approximately 7.45 in the morning, more or less. And it went, when I woke back up, uh, that was the last one to go down. So I, I didn't understand what was going on exactly. I wasn't used to the Shekinah presence. There's a difference. Yeah, there is. And, and so... Uh, I mean, look, we're raising the dead. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're seeing all these miracles. We're seeing arms and legs grow out. We're seeing leprosy healed and, and the results of leprosy reversed and le- limbs grow out. Uh, that's different than the Shekinah presence. Mm. And uh, we, it, I woke up probably, it was probably 1230 and I thought it was just a moment. And I was checking on everybody. I was drunk, which is unusual for me. Mm. And I'm always in together. Spirit. Drunk I was, in drunk spirit. in spirit. No, no, we don't yeah. do the drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Just some people yeah. don't understand yes, when you say that word, I do get they? it. Uh, they don't understand, but no. it's in the Holy Ghost fire. Yes. Mm. Yeah. The presence of God overcomes you, and it takes away your faculties. Yeah. And I was checking on everybody, and there was 10 or 12 people at once, literally looking at Jesus, looking at me and asking me, how did we get in this palace? We were in some kind of palace. And wow. I'm looking, I'm seeing dirt. <laughs> wow. And they're in a palace and Jesus is standing there and they're, they're conversing with Jesus. And I, so I'm going around, I, I thought, oh, we have food for a thousand people cooking back here. It must be ruined. It must be burned. I go around to check on, but that's my job as a leader. I go around. I go in the kitchen and all the kitchen workers are knocked out. <laughs> oh, must have been a hundred of them knocked yeah. out. But the food is not burned. Angels had had stirred our food for us. That's awesome. Come on, that's the way to cook. That's, that's the way to cook. That's the way I would like to cook. <laughs> that's the way. Laid to cook. out with angels. Laid out, laid out. Yeah. Yeah. Stir your pot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna that's go true. for that. Yeah, that's the thing to go for. Yeah. And from then on, it's been, I don't know, it's been, I don't know, six times, I think, that uh, a literal mist, and it changes colors every time. Different colors. Really? It comes in a different color every time it comes. Tell us about that. Uh, First time, it was like a normal cloud, a gray color, and then it went to a light blue, 
And then it went to a, a gold and a variation of gold brown. So it changed. I, I don't understand that there are people that have written books that are educated in these matters. We live it. I don't know exactly what it means. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh, more lore. Bring it here. Yeah. 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 And, and and it's it it's just phenomenal. Like like I I I literally have the brothers tie me to a post when it starts coming because I want to see. But if you're not telling the ground, sometimes you don't get to see some of the manifestations. Like I told you, when that guy last yesterday, he wanted to see you. Right, that right. He held right. on to the post, right. but he wasn't tied on. Right. So he got flipped up, swung around, and knocked Man, flat. That's right. He's, I watched his body because I was on the floor, but I was looking because I wanted to see, but I couldn't get up. That's right. The heavyweighty glory was too strong. It is. And we at least six, seven witch doctors were Boom. knocked out. Yes, they were yes. trying to curse us. They couldn't do it. They couldn't anything. do it anymore. But that big man was trying to watch. And, and I thought maybe he was being arrogant, but I understand now. He just wanted to see. Yeah, I, I got so many times I got hit, and I missed so much. I, I'm, uh, and it's not for me to, I, I'm not going to say that I'm supposed to see. Right, but maybe. God, <laughs> God's blessing to everybody is his business. But, but, but I want to be part of my people's life. So I had the brothers tie me to a post. <laughs> and they know to do that now? They, they know that. <laughs> That's awesome. And, and, they, and so I'm hanging on, right? <laughs> and they got this rope and I'm hanging on. And, and one of our main pastors, he's, uh, he's what's called a Huasteco Indian. He's, uh, by worldly standards, he's not, he's not uh, uh, educated in the intellectual world. He's a, but he's a, he, was a, he was a cowboy and he ran this ranch for this very wealthy fellow. And he's standing there. He's been faithful with us for probably 30-something, 30 32 years. Good man. And uh, he's standing there, and he comes walking up to him, and he's just, his eye, he's bugged out. He's always a calm individual. And he's just talking to me, and he's in tongues, and it's perfect English. Wow. Perfect English. And, he and he's never he's spoken English. English in his life. Wow. That's awesome. He's worshiping in English. And he's worshiping. He's just going off. Wow. And I'm just, and, and I'm just, bu now I'm bugged out because, and, and what he was saying in English was, give glory to God for the blood, over wow. and over, give glory to God for the blood, give glory to God for the blood. And you were tied to the post. And I'm tied to the post and I get to see it. And you're hearing, oh wow, yeah. that was worth it. It was. And the mist in that time was, uh, it was a bright uh, gold. It was like uh, fine particles of gold, but the whole air was filled with it. Wow. It came in. It didn't come from the sky this time. It came in from the from the uh, my right, which I don't know where it is for God, but it was my right. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth seeing. Wasn't it was it? worth seeing, and there were people here again uh, talking to Jesus, having visions, angels touching people. I don't know if they pray or not, but they were absolutely touching them. Like we pray. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that's happened quite a few times. 